In this video, I'm going to show you how you can prove that a matrix is positive definite. And to do this, there is five tests. Any one of these tests is actually sufficient to prove that a matrix is positive definite. The first one is simply to find all of the eigenvalues. And if every eigenvalue is greater than zero, that is telling you that you have a positive definite matrix. The second test that you can do is that all of the upper left determinants must be greater than zero. And this is actually called Sylvester's criterion. And we'll look at that in a bit more detail in a second. What that means in practice is if you look at all of the sub matrices, you start with the highlighted one in the top upper left. You find that determinant. Obviously, in this case, it's just going to be one. Then you find the determinant of a two by two system in the top left hand corner. And then you just keep going through every possible matrix until you get to the whole matrix itself. Find that determinant. And if every single one of those is greater than zero, that means that you have a positive definite matrix. That's also called Sylvester's criteria. You have the third one, which is that every pivot must be greater than zero. So if you find all the pivots, show that they're greater than zero. That's also a test for whether the matrix is positive definite or not. You can also think about it in terms of this expression. So if we have some matrix S, it will be positive definite if S can be written as A transpose A. That's, of course, the definition of a symmetric matrix. But you also have to have this further criterion that A must have independent columns. Otherwise, you're going to get into a special case that's not going to be positive definite. So you've got to have that restriction. And then the fifth one is the most complicated one to apply, which is that if you take some vector X, you find its transpose, and you do X transpose times the matrix that you're testing times the original vector that you've chosen, and you multiply all that together, the end result must be greater than zero for every single vector x. So you have to prove it for every possible vector, not just one specific one, every one, other than the zero vector. The zero vector, again, will not um, work in this case. That would give you another, another special case. So ignore the zero vector and prove for every single other x. You'll notice that some of these are simple to apply, and some of these are not so simple to apply. In practice, personally, I would tend to go the first two tests. If you're using a computer, it's going to be extremely easy to just immediately type in that matrix and then just put in, you know, EIG and MATLAB, for example. And it would just give you the um, eigenvalues straight away very quickly, and you would know from that. If you're doing it by hand, the second method is the simplest. This second method is what we would call Sylvester's method. Um, or rather Sylvester's criterion. There are some very, very quick clues that you can use to tell whether a matrix is positive definite or not. And so a few of these would be that it cannot be positive definite if a few of these things are true. So firstly, if it's got a negative in the 1, 1 position, for example, this matrix has instantly without any other calculations, you know that number two on our list about all upper left determinants being positive hasn't been satisfied. So instantly, this is obviously not positive definite. The second one is you can look at the two by two system in the upper left hand corner, because that's quite easy to calculate. You would just do minus one times five minus two times four. And you can see that's going to give you a negative value. And so that's not going to work either. You could also look at the trace because the trace is going to be linked to your eigenvalues. So if you were to add up the trace of the matrix, so this is minus 1 plus 5 plus minus 9, you get a negative value. And that instantly tells you that your matrix is not positive definite because your eigenvalues are not all going to be greater than 0 because they can't be to give a negative trace. The next one is that if it's a non-square matrix, again, you're not going to have a positive definite matrix. So you can throw it out as well. Let's look at Sylvester's criterion, which is the fastest way to prove that a matrix is positive definite or not. Very, very simple. We have a matrix that looks like this, and we can divide it up into three matrices as so. If the determinant of all of those matrices is greater than zero, so every single one that I've highlighted, then the matrix is positive definite. This is a sufficient criterion. Once you have proven that every single one of these matrices has a determinant that's greater than zero, you have proven without any other calculation required that you definitely have a positive 
Definitely. So let's now look at a worked example of Sylvester's criterion in action and see how to prove that a matrix is actually positive definite. So we have a worked example here. We're going to look at this matrix and I'm going to show you how you can prove using Sylvester's criterion that this is definitely positive definite. The first step is to just go through all of the sub matrices. So you start with the top left. So your first upper left system that determines obviously just going to be two. That's a very simple one. Then you need to look at the next part of Sylvester's criteria, which is the next upper left matrix. And you've got the two by two determinant. That's nice and easy to find. You just do two times two minus minus one times minus one. And that gives you three. Then you need to find the determinant of the whole matrix. And to do that, you've got this three by three determinant here. It's going to be a lot easier because you've got a zero there. So you're going to only have two terms to worry about. So you're going to be doing two times the determinant of this part plus one times so this is going to be minus minus it's going to give you a plus one and then you've got the determinant of this bit here you know, then you don't have to worry about the next term because it's zero and when you evaluate this you end up with four and so if you work back through all of the determinants you can see that this one is greater than zero this one is greater than zero and this one is greater than zero therefore all of your sub matrices are giving determinants that are greater than zero and the matrix itself has a determinant greater than zero so Vesta's criterion has been satisfied and therefore the matrix is positive definite so you've now seen all of the ways that you can use to test that a matrix is positive definite or show that it's not positive definite. And we've run through a worked example proving that a given matrix is positive definite. If this video has helped you out, please subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.